Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful geometry math problem. Let us help we have given a right angle triangle, a close figure whose height or perpendicular is given, which is six units, and the other two sides are not given. And we will try to find out the perimeter of this triangle. Now, as we know that the perimeter of any close figure is the sum of its all sides, the sum of its all boundaries. So here in this figure, in this right angle triangle, we have only one side. The other two sides are not given. So here we will try to find out these two sides. But also remember that if we change this value, so there are infinite solutions for this problem. So to find out the other two sides, let us suppose this is side A, the height is equal to A, this is side B, and this is side C of this triangle. So here we will try to find out the value of B and the value of C. So as this is a right angle triangle, so here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find out the value of B and C. So let us apply the Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem here we can write. So by Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem states that in any right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So here our hypotenuse is C, so this will become C square is equal to perpendicular is A, so this will become A square plus base is B, is equal to B square. Let's substitute the value of A, that is 6, so this will become C square is equal to the value of A is 6, so this will become 6 square plus B square. Now here we will take this B square to the left hand side. So this will become c square minus b square is equal to 6 square is simply 36. We look at the left hand side here. This is c square minus b square. So this is an algebraic identity. a square minus b square. So here in the left hand side we will use this one algebraic identity. a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So using this algebraic identity here, the step hand side will become this will become c minus b times c plus b is equal to 36. Looking to the left hand side here, there is a pair of two expression, the product of two expressions. So therefore, we will try to factorize this one number and we will find out all the possible pair of factors of this 36. So here we can write this 36 as this is simply. 1 time 36 is 36 or this can also be written as 36 times 1 is 36 now 36 can also be written as 2 times 18 or 18 times 2 now this is also 3 times 12 which is 36 and this can also be written as 6 times 6 which is 36 so here we have four possible pair of factors of this 36, which are these. But look at the left hand side here for any two number C and B. This subtraction, their difference is always smaller than their addition. So for that here in the right hand side, we will take only those pair of numbers which suits with the left hand side. So here this pair of number suits this left hand side because this number is smaller than 36. This also suits this also should but this one cannot suit and we cannot take this pair of number because this and this gives him the same solution so here we have three possible cases to compare this left hand side with the right hand side one part this second part this and third part this but we will try to take only one pair of numbers from the right hand side we will try to only find one solution of this problem so let us take this one pair 2 times 18 so this equation will become this will become c minus b times c plus b is equal to let us take 2 times 18 which is 36 so here we will compare this expression with 2 and this expression with 18 so this will become this gives him c minus b is equal to 2 and c plus b is equal to 18 we will sum up these two equations for the value of b or c so let's add these two equations so this is the first equation 
the second equation is c plus b is equal to 18 by adding these two numbers here this negative b and this positive will be cancelled and this will become 2c is equal to 2 plus 18 is simply 20 dividing both sides by 2 this gives same c is equal to 20 by 2 is simply 10 so this is the value of the second variable now we'll try to find out the value of the third unknown that is b so for that we we'll substitute this value of c in any equation so let's substitute this value here in this one equation so the equation is this implies the equation is same c plus b is equal to 18 so let's substitute c is equal to 10 so this will become 10 plus b is equal to 18 and we will take this 10 to the right hand side so the value of b will become b is equal to this will become 18 minus 10 18 minus 10 is simply add so the value of b will become add so this is the value of b now here in the problem we have given the value of a and we will also find out the value of b and c from here now here we can very easily find out the perimeter of this close speaker this right angle triangle so therefore the perimeter of this right angle triangle will become perimeter of this right angle triangle that will become a plus b plus c so let's substitute the value of a b and c so this will become here the value of a is 6 the value of b is 8 and the value of c is 10 now summing these three numbers 6 plus 8 it is 14 14 plus 10 it is 24 so therefore the perimeter of this right angle triangle is it is 24 units which is our final answer now if you want to verify these values that is the value of a b and c are the correct or the exact values as this is the correct answer or not so we can also verify these values here in the Pythagoras equation this equation c square is equal to a square plus b square so let's try to verify these values here so by Pythagoras theorem we can write i fatinus square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so here the value of c is 10 so this become 10 square is equal to the value of a is 6 so this becomes 6 square plus the value of b is 8 so this become 8 square now 10 square is simply 100 is equal to 6 square is 36 and 8 square is 64 so this is 100 is equal to 6 power is 10 6 3 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so this is also 100 now both sides are equal so it means that the value of a b and c are exact and correct and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry solutions thanks for watching